Hey guys, welcome back to PA Outdoors. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of shooting on the bow, trying to catch the chicken killer. Got one of my chickens. Uh, at first I thought it was my dog, one of the dogs, but she didn't have any blood on her or anything, so I'm starting to think it wasn't, but I have a trail cam set up. I've gotta put a card in it. No. Uh, after I get this thing set up, I'll let you guys know more details about it. If you guys are wondering what kind of camera I use, this stealth cam. Not too expensive one. I think you guys have seen them before. I'm going to shoot my bow a little bit too. But, all right, so that's set up. And so now I have 12 chickens. I had 13. But, uh, okay, so I need to tell you what was left. There was a wing and a leg left. I'm thinking that's a raccoon because they do stuff like that. Just leave, just leave the uh, uh, random body parts. And I, I don't know what else it would have been. Didn't think of looking to retract. I was just like mad. I thought it was the dog, and but she didn't have blood on her or anything. So I don't know if it could have been. So. But uh, anyways, I'm going to probably shoot a little bit, shoot the bow. I think right about here is 20 yards. You can see the 3D target. Hoping I don't miss because I don't want to lose an arrow back here. Uh, you guys let me, well, last week I didn't post a video because I, did, I went live on Instagram. Two people joined in. You got, I probably should have mentioned it on the channel or something we're doing fireworks stuff it was pretty fun but i ended it early because i wanted to there wasn't anyone joining so figured i might as well not keep doing it but uh, that's why i didn't post last week i have a really good video in the makes but i just have to find time to edit it which might be today it's a uh Three lakes in three days video, catch and cook, really good video. But so I can get this. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna show you my bow a little bit. It's a bear vast. Got it for Christmas. You guys have probably seen it. Now let's get to shooting. Still testing out what kind of arrows to use. That's why I have a bunch of different ones. This is a Old Easton XX75 2213, four fletched. My dad's letting me test these out. Test these out. I think it's 125 or 150 grand tip. I couldn't tell you what the exact is, but go ahead. 20 yards. I think is my first pin. Haven't shot for a long time. But in case you're wondering what poundage, 45. That's pretty good exactly where I was aiming. I'll go show you guys, but my bow's only at 45. You'd expect it to be higher because I'm 16, but I know this arrow shoots good, so I'm gonna set it down here. I'm gonna test out a uh, Victory Archery, with, uh, that same tip. Uh, I usually do odd arrow up and it's about 20 yards, not exact. But. I need to move that branch. I can tell my bow's quieter with heavy arrows. I think it penetrates better. These are stock length, like 30 some inches. But I didn't want to cut them yet, because. See, the groove's good. And I have a, this is definitely a 150 or 145. Okay, yeah. And if my form's off or anything, I know. It's, I've just happened to want to show it. In these areas my dad used back in the day, odd feather goes on, odd feather goes on the right. 
So it's a little bit different than today. But just how he had the knocks. See, that was a little heavy. I could tell it went slower. It was quieter. So, might as well just shoot this one while I'm at it. So far, this one has... I just heard a chicken go... Anyway, so far, these ones have shot the best and most consistent. So... That was like exactly where I was aiming. That group. It's all over the deer. All right. Simeon's here now. We're getting some, uh, some moreau mushroom. Getting, trying to find a blackberry. Yeah. <laughs> Simeon, they're down this way. Cut that out. Cut what out? Cut that out. Cut, cut what? Out. What I just said. Cut. All right, start new. Okay. All right, and we're here with Simeon and getting some blackberries. But it sounds stupid because I said the same thing two times in a row. Just delete the whole thing and start new. No. Yes. Well, there they are, Simeon. Where? Right there. They're are you not, videoing? They're not ripe. Cut that out, cut that out. Tell me when you're going. Like, what are you, are you going to point it to you? What? To the camera. No, I'm going to film you like we're hunting. We'll say we're shooting bows. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out here uh, shooting bows. And, yeah, sorry, Simeon's up. He's lost two arrows. Uh-huh. But, okay. okay, hold on. Huh? Hold on. All right, we're in a, it's a, we're in a tree stand right now, okay? Uh-huh. All right, you have to be really quiet. All right. He is smoked. Let's go see. <laughs> oh yeah, you would've, uh, gonna- I would've been a lost arrow right in the shoulder. Oh yeah, you need a heavy arrow set up, don't you? You need an 800 grain arrow. What I need to do is find my other two arrows. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna film this. Let us know if you see an arrow that looks like this. You guys see it anywhere? Yeah, you guys see it at all? Let us know in neither. the comments down below. <laughs> all right, cut that out. Ow. You're gonna break my target. Look at this thing. The big shooter. Don't Where even... my... Oh, let me know how I can repair these antlers. I think I can use spray foam. I don't see why it wouldn't work, because I'm not going to shoot the horns. Antlers, sorry. Uh, oh, Simeon. Uh, this thing would have shed by now. Oh, look, there's a shed. All right, guys, I'll see you back whenever we're shooting. When we see you back, then I'll see you back whenever we see you back. All right, guys, so right now we're looking... <laughs> That arrow that Simeon lost. And uh, we're going to continue vlogging. Continue this vlog into tomorrow. All right, that big buck's back. You got to be really quiet. Give him a. Huh? He's done. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's do a tour of Simeon's bow. Oh, what's that say? Bear bass? That's almost the exact same as mine, but mine's way cooler because it's lime green. Yeah, it's way junkier. Sure. Oh, that's a little low. No, it's not. All right, no, I'm just kidding. That's good. You might have clipped the shoulder. No, it wasn't enough. Kyle, you're dumb. Real dumb. Quit. You're going to break this thing. All right. All right, see you guys back whenever I see you guys back. Outdoors, today we're out here exploring the beaver dam. I got a stick. What used to be the beaver dam. It used to be right there. It's gone now. We just got our waders on. Do you guys have any leaks? No. Mine are working pretty good, which they should be because I just got them. So, see you guys whenever we see something interesting. 
All right, guys, so we just found about five new beaver dams. This one right there. Where's the other ones? No, just five in total. Yeah. And back there is, right there is a beaver hut. The old one, you can see the holt going to it. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit more walking around and see you guys sometime. All right, guys, we're just sitting here on a log looking at the water, seeing a frog some birds that's about it maybe a snake but I don't know when we're heading back he probably doesn't either found some all right so we're gonna start heading back we've explored what we wanted to found some spots to duck hunt it's pretty much along this edge I mean I'll walk up to some spots right now. Some of this brush would need cleared out, but I mean the trees in the water. So like right here would be pretty good. Take down this tree and then that water. Get out all this. But the only thing is getting the ducks out. Oh, John does for Yeah, we could just get a boat. Or bring your kayak. Yeah. Kayak or a boat. Kayak would probably be lighter. Mm hmm. Well. We're, yeah, we're gonna start heading back now. See you guys when we get back to the. Boogie, 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 let's go racing. 